In this section, we're going to see about bridge circuit. Introduction: The bridges are used for not only to measure the resistance but also used to measure the various component like capacitance and inductance. A bridge circuit, in its simplest form, consists of a network of four resistance arm forming a closed circuit. A source of current is applied to to opposite junction the current director is connected to other junction the bridge circuit uses the comparison measurement method and operate on null induction principle the bridge circuit compares the value of unknown component with the accurately known standard component thus the accuracy depend on bridge component and not on the null inductor hence i degree of accuracy can be obtained in bridge circuit when no current flow through the null detector which is generally galvanometer the bridge is said to be balanced the relationship between the component value of four arm of the bridge at the balancing is called balancing condition or balancing equation this equation gives us the value of unknown component advantage of bridge circuit there are various advantage of bridge circuit first one balance equation is independent of the magnitude of the input voltage or source impedance second measurement accuracy is high as the measurement is done by comparing the unknown value with the standard value third accuracy is independent of the characteristics of a null detector and is depend on the component value fourth balance equation is independent of the sensitivity of the null detector the impedance of the detector or any impedance shunting the detector fifth balance condition remains unchanged if the source and detector are interchanged sixth bridge circuit can be used in the control circuit when used in such control application one arm of the bridge contain a resistive element that is sensitive to physical parameter like pressure temperature etc which is to be controlled types of bridge circuit the bridge circuit can be classified into two types first one is a dc bridge and ac bridge dc bridge are used to measure the resistance while ac are used to measure the impedance consisting capacitance and inductance the dc bridge uses the dc voltage as excitation voltage while ac bridge use alternative voltage as excitation voltage There are two types of DC bridge one is Wheatstone bridge and another one is Kelvin bridge and the AC bridge is classified into capacitance comparison bridge inductance comparison bridge Maxwell bridge AC bridge Anderson bridge Schering bridge and Wain bridge So in the first topic we're going to discuss about DC Wheatstone bridge The bridge consists of four resistive arm together with a source of emf and null detector the galvanometer is used as a null detector okay so in this is the figure 3.1 is an wheatstone bridge circuit the arm consists of resistance r1 and r2 which is called as ratio arm the arm consisting of standard known resistance r3 is called standard arm the resistance r4 is the unknown resistance to be measured the battery is connected in between a and c while the galvanometer is connected between b and d these are about the construction of wheatstone bridge let me move over to the equation so the balancing condition first we going to check over when the bridge is balanced the galvanometer carries zero current and it is denoted as no deflection thus bridge works on the principle of null de deflection or null indication 
to have zero current through the galvanometer the point b and d must be at the same potential thus the potential across arm ab must be same as potential across arm ad hence equation 1 is i1 into r1 is equal to i2 into r4 as galvanometer current is zero hence the current flowing through the four arm will be i1 is equal to i3 and i2 is equal to i4 which is equation number 2 so this is the galvan wheatstone bridge it consists of galvanometer and uh, galvanometer is connected to the point b and d and and battery is connected to the point a and c and a b and b c consist of resistance r1 r2 is a ratio arm r4 is connected to ad which is unknown resistance r3 is connected between c and d which is standard resistance or known resistance okay so now we're going to consider in the battery path under balance condition therefore i1 is equal to i3 is equal to e divided by r1 plus r2 and i2 is equal to i4 is equal to e divided by r3 plus r4 which is equation 3 and 4 so now we're going to substitute equation 3 and 4 in equation 1 our equation 1 is i1 into r1 is equal to i2 into r4 so we know i1 and i2 equation since we're going to substitute 3 and 4 in equation 1 which is e divided by r1 plus r2 into r1 equal to e divided by r3 plus r4 into r4 while simplifying r1 into r3 plus r4 is equal to r4 into r1 plus r2 so from this we can able to calculate the from this we can able to calculate the unknown resistance value r4 is equal to r3 into r1 divided by r2 thus this is the expression for an unknown resistance calculation by using the balance condition of Wheatstone bridge so the point should be remembered is first one it's depend on the ratio of r1 and r2 hence these arms are called as ratio arm second it works on null indication hence the result are not depend on the calibration and characteristics of galvanometer third the standard resistance r3 can be varied to obtain the required balanced condition and this is the circuit for industrial form of Wheatstone bridge looking like a regulator and what are all the errors will be occur during the measurement is the main error is because of limiting error of three unknown resistance hence very precise resistance are required having tolerance of one percentage or even 0 0.1 percentage second is insufficient sensitivity of null detector may cause error third eating effect fourth thermal emf and fifth one is the resistance of lead and the contact exterior to the actual bridge circuit adds the extra resistance and is the major cause of error while measuring the low resistance value this error can be reduced by using another bridge called kelvin bridge okay so these are the limitations in the wheatstone application of wheatstone is it is used basically a dc bridge and used to measure the resistance range from 1 ohm to low mega ohm second one use it to measure dc resistance of various type of wire for purpose of quality control of wire third use it to measure the resistance of motor winding relay coil and at last use it by the telephone company to locate the cable fault the fault may be of the type line to line short or line to ground short So the advantages are the result are does not depend upon the calibration and characteristics of galvanometer. Second, 
the source emf and in occurrence due to the source fluctuation does not affect the balance of the bridge third due to null deflection method the accuracy and sensitivity is higher than the direct deflection meter okay and the limitation we already discussed some errors and how we will produce so the effect of bleed resistance and control and contact resistance is very much significant while measuring the low resistance uh, bridge cannot be used for high resistance measurement similarly heating effect due to large current also play a major role so this is the problem we are going to discuss a wheatstone bridge is shown in the figure which we have to calculate the value of unknown resistance assuming the bridge should be balanced in condition okay so here they given the uh, condition we have to assume the bridge should balance the condition so uh, as per the galvanometer connected as a null deflection one and it is a weak shown bridge we are going to calculate the unknown resistance we know the formula r4 is equal to r3 into r1 divided by r2 so from the given diagram we know the r1 is equal to 10k r2 is equal to 2k r3 is equal to 5k and r4 is equal to rx we are going to substitute in the equation r4 is equal to r3 into r1 divided by r2 so we will get the unknown resistance value as 25 kilo ohms